Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. In this session, let's try to understand how to find out the angle between two intersecting circles. Now, what is actually the angle between two intersecting circles? The angle between two intersecting circles is nothing but the angle between the common tangent to those two circles. So, angle between the tangents drawn at the point of intersection where these two circles are meeting with each other. So, let us say this point and this point are the point of intersection. Then you draw the tangents at both of them. Then that angle between them is nothing but the angle between two intersecting circles. Now, how to compute that angle if you know the radius of the circles and you know the distance between the centers of the two circles. Let's try to understand that. For that, I'll just try to draw this figure. Now, we see that T1 you can see the angle between T1P and T2P are that's the angle between the two intersecting circles because you have two tangents down to the circle at the point of intersection so one line is something like just going on like that and the other line is going in this direction so we have two tangents and those two tangents are intersecting at point P or uh, these two circles are intersecting at point P so at that point if you draw the tangents then the angle between the tangents so can I say angle between two intersecting circles is angle between the tangents at point of contact or at point of intersection of two circles at point of intersection or point of so in this figure it is nothing but angle T1 P T2 we just take it as theta so let us say that is the angle so we have to find out what is the angle theta how to find that out so for that what is the known information we know that c1 p is equal to r1 let us say that this is given as r1 we also know c2 p is equal to r2 so let us say we know this is r2 we also know the distance between the centers it has been given to us that c1 c2 equal to d now if you look at the triangle c1 p c2 we have all the three sides information by using law of cosines we should be able to find out the angle c1 p c2 very easily now how t1 p t2 and c1 p c2 are related if you are able to identify that then easily i can use this triangle c1 p c2 and i can find out the angle between c1 p and c2 p okay before that we'll try to understand what is c1 p c2 angle so for that we'll write it down we'll say angle c1 p c2 is nothing but equal to if you look at the diagram that's nothing but equal to angle c1 p t1 plus t1 p c2 angle t1 p c2 now what is the angle c1 p t1 nothing but so one thing we have to understand that at point of contact always the angle is 90 degrees so we know this angle is 90 degrees and also not that angle center to the point of contact so center to the point of contact similarly here center to the point of contact this angle is also 90 degrees so we can say angle c1 p t1 is nothing but equal to so this angle is theta so can i say that is 90 minus theta plus t1 p c2 t1 p c2 is obviously 90 degrees we know that so that's equal to 180 minus theta let me just explain that how that came see here angle c1 p t1 so we know angle c1 p t2 is 90 degrees and this angle this angle here is theta 
So total angle is 90 degrees minus theta. That means this small part is 90 minus theta. After that, whatever I have to add, that is nothing but 90 degrees. So 90 minus theta plus 90, that's equal to 180 minus theta. Now, so we know that we are successfully able to translate C1 P C2 in terms of the need required angle theta. So let's go to this triangle now and write it down. Law of cosines says C1 C2 square is equal to C1 P square plus C2 P square minus 2 C1 P into C2P into cos of 180 minus theta. You know what is cos of 180 minus theta? Cos of C1P C2. Let me write down for one times cos of C1P C2. Now that's nothing but equal to C1 C2 whole square. What is C1 C2 whole square? That is nothing but d square. d square equal to R1 square plus R2 square minus 2 R1 R2 cos of 180 minus theta. Now what is cos of 180 minus theta? Cos of 180 minus theta is cos theta only. So cos of 180 minus theta is minus cos theta. So we can write it down now. Next step as d square equal to r1 square plus r2 square plus 2r1 r2 cos theta. Why cos of 1 minus theta, 180 minus theta is minus cos theta? 180 minus theta is between 90 to 180. In 90 to 180 cos is negative. So cos of 180 minus theta is minus cos theta. So this gives you that cos theta equal to if you simplify that, take it to that side, you will have d square minus of r1 minus r2 divided by 2 r1 r2. So cos theta, angle between two intersecting circles is nothing but angle between the tangents drawn to those two respective circles at point of intersection. If we say that angle is theta, then cos theta is given by d square, the distance between the centers minus of radius 1 minus of radius 2 divided by 2 into 2 twice the product of radius 1 and radius 2. So that's how we got it. Now only the thing we have to understand here is how this 180 minus theta came. So for that, we know angle C1 P T1, I am just trying to be clear again, angle C1 P T1 is nothing but equal to, I can write it as here, one more step. If you think I have missed something, that is angle C1 P T2 minus T1 P T2. Now C1 P T2 is 90 degrees, T1 P T2 is theta. So that's how it is 90 minus theta, 90 minus theta plus 90 because we know the angle between the tangent and the line drawn from center to the point of contact is always 90 degrees. So we have 90 degrees here both the ways. So we subtract one, we will get 90 minus theta and the other is 90. I hope that's clear. Okay. 